In this video, we're going to talk about a really useful feature in Excel called Named Ranges. What Named Ranges let you do is instead of referring to a range, a table, or anything really, with the actual address, you can use a name which you predefine uh, in the formula. That makes the formula much easier to read and troubleshoot, and it helps you um, to write formulas more quickly and to access data in, a, in a, just a smoother, slicker way. So, let's get started. I'm going to go to the cars a lookup table, which is where uh, this formula is referring. It's referring to cars lookup B3 to C124. And rather than use that address, I want to just name that address and then refer to it in the formula. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to go up here, the upper left hand corner. You can always make this wider if you need to. And you type well, whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to type lookup country. Notice I can't use any spaces. Those are not allowed in named ranges. I hit enter, and I have named this cell, this range rather, a lookup country. Now I also have an H lookup version, a horizontal version of this. So I'm going to select this. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is go here and type H lookup. There you go. We've named both of them. Now I can go here. I can select either of them. I can go to Name Manager. I can see under the Formulas tab. And I can see my named ranges. I can see what they're referring to. I can see their cell reference. I can alter their cell reference. I can go here and change their name. So you have a lot of control. If you've messed up with your named ranges, you can always go here and delete them all. You can uh, edit them. You have a lot of control over that. I'm going to hit Close. And now I'm going to actually use the formula, use the named range in the formula. So rather than saying cars look up B3C124, I'm going to get rid of this. Type look up. I see it there. Look up country. I'm going to hit tab. And there we go. I have my named range used in a formula. I'll go here and do the same thing. I believe I called this H look up. I did. H look up country. I hit down. Tab. We've done it. Now, if you had many named ranges, it might get really confusing sometimes what you would call things. For instance, if I had thought I had called this country lookup or country table and typed it in uh, with country, the word country, I wouldn't have gotten. I wouldn't have been able to find my named range. The search only searches from the beginning of the word. So one way to get around that is to make sure all your named ranges have an underscore at the beginning. And I'll show you why that's cool. We'll go here, click here again, put an underscore at the beginning. Hit OK. Now you can see both of these have underscores at the beginning. Hit Close. Now, first of all, it did replace uh, these references. So if you change the name of your named range and the name manager, it's not going to break this, the formulas, which is nice. But if I'm typing this formula again, all I have to do, I don't have to remember what I called it. I just hit underscore. And there you go. I have all my named ranges. So I know it's this one because it's lookup, not hlookup. And I bring it down. Same thing here. We could go here. I'm, just, I'm going to do it again just to show you. Underscore. I can just select my named range. I don't have to remember what I called it. And there you go. The other shortcut with named ranges is you can actually name ranges from a selection. So for instance, let's say, and we're going to need this for a future video, I wanted to name this range, this manufacturer column here, and I wanted to name this one, the country of origin column here. What I can do is I can select these two columns, go all the way to the bottom, include that last row, and go Create from Selection. Now, a lot of times it will have this left column one selected. Unselect this, please. If you leave that selected, it will name every one of these cells with this name here. So there will be a named range called Bentley that will equal C11, basically. We don't want that. What we want is two named ranges, one called Manufacturer, one called Country of Origin. So we're going to use the top row. Notice we selected the top row. It's going to use the top row to define the name of the range. It won't include the top row, but it will use the top row to define the name. Hit OK. And what it has done is it's created two named ranges, one country of origin and one called manufacturer. And notice it replaced any underscore, any spaces with underscores. That is what it will do with any symbols or spaces it doesn't like. It will replace them with underscores. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like if this was helpful, comment if you have questions, and, and if you find videos like this interesting or helpful and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much and have a great day.